Well, the pumpkins are finally blooming and if you come out in the mornings, it's a real beautiful sight in the pumpkin patch because there are just these bright yellow blossoms everywhere. And the ones that are reaching up to the sun are mostly the male blossoms. I'm going to show you a close-up right here. Of, this is a male blossom and when you look at it, it's about the size, when they get fully opened up, they're about the size of your hand. And then the male blossom goes straight from the blossom down to the stem. And then, by contrast, the female blossom is down low here underneath. And it has already got a little pumpkin fruit attached to the back of it. So if you look at the back, there's, try to get in here so you can see it, there's a little tiny round fruit right there. And that can be a pumpkin if this female blossom gets pollinated. And so in order to pollinate, you, the male, the, usually the bees or the, the bugs of some sort will get a bunch of pollen from one blossom and then in their travels they go across and they wander all over the female blossom and they get the pollen equally dispersed amongst the female blossom. And then that's what it takes to get that little pumpkin fruit to set and to start growing. And that needs to happen with every single female blossom that's out here. And again, the female blossoms are generally down underneath the plant more. And the male blossoms like to reach up to the sky and get all the attention of the, of the bees and the butterflies and the dragonflies and everything that stops by. So it's kind of a cool process. I'm hoping that the bees, which are the little white box in the background, are helping out this year along with all the other insects and getting the pumpkin patch well pollinated so that we have lots of pumpkins for the ladies fundraiser in town this fall.